three former Supreme Court judges are among 600 lawyers and academics who've sent a 17-page letter to the Prime Minister reminding him of obligations under international humanitarian law in relation to what they call the unfolding catastrophe in Gaza. Their call includes suspending weapons and weapons systems provision to Israel, sanctions against those who have made statements inciting genocide against Palestinians and UK funding for the aid agency UNRWA to continue with immediate effect. One of the three former Supreme Court justices is Jonathan Sumption, Lord Sumption, who joins us now. Morning, Lord Sumption. Good morning. What led you to sign this letter? Uh, I was sent a copy of it. I I thought that it was a persuasive and moderately expressed letter, which makes some very important points that the, the UK government seems to be losing sight of. Which is the most important point in your view? The most important point is that Article 1 of the Genocide Convention uh, requires states um, uh, to uh, uh, do what they can to prevent genocide. Now, it hasn't yet been determined whether what the Israelis are doing is genocide. The ICJ, International Court of Justice, is considering that issue. But they have already ruled that there is a plausible case that that is what is going on uh, in Gaza. Uh, And it seems to me that if you um, have a duty, as we do, uh, an international law to prevent genocide, uh, and there is a plausible case that that is what is happening, you should do what you can uh, to obstruct it. At this stage, not wait for a final ruling, which could be years to come. Well, the deaths and the indiscriminate killing, these things are happening now. So it, what, what is the action then that you, I mean, there, there are a series of actions in, in this letter, including some of the ones I, I mentioned now, but uh, you've obviously written to state your view to the Prime Minister. If he doesn't take action, is there, is there a framework under which a, a legal case could be brought against the government? No, because um, the, there is no uh, relevant uh, justiciable obligation in English domestic law. Um, But uh, the British government's policy has always been uh, to observe international law. uh, And um, uh, it seems to me quite clear uh, that the government ought to be doing that, uh, whether it's possible to bring domestic litigation against them or not. And does that stand for you, however brutal the enemy, whatever the circumstances in which Israel has begun this war? Listen, um, Israel began this war because of what happened on the 7th of October, uh, which was truly appalling. But the whole framework of international law governing war uh, uh, dictates that the fact that you have been provoked and attacked, however outrageously, does not mean to say that you can do whatever you like. It doesn't mean to say that you can indiscriminately slaughter innocent civilians and children. It doesn't mean to say uh, that you can uh, attack aid convoys, you can withdraw the visas uh, of aid um, uh, workers. It doesn't mean to say that you can spend two weeks flattening hospitals, the very few hospitals which are left functioning. And it doesn't mean to say that you can threaten uh, to uh, in, invade Rafah, a place where hundreds of thousands have taken refuge. It doesn't mean any of those things. There are limits to what people can do, even in self-defense. Okay. And, and so I understand this fully. Tell me what, whether, how long you have been thinking along those lines. Was there a particular moment that made you think enough and therefore to be open to signing this letter? Uh, w- yes. Would you call uh, yourself if- a friend of Israel? I would certainly call myself a potential friend of Israel. And I think that the reason why people are so much more concerned about what happens uh, in Israel uh, than about other more distant places is that Israel is a country. It is essentially a Western country. And one is concerned much more about the terrible things that are done by one's friends uh, than the terrible things that are done by more distant and more remote societies. Lord Sumption, Jonathan Sumption, thank you very much.